If you want to remove a background but want to keep fur or curly hair, this is exactly the right tutorial for you. Right, so you want to remove the background but you want to keep the fur. There should be an easy trick to do that job in Affinity Photo. I will um, duplicate the layer, pressing Ctrl and J. Then I will go to Live Filters and go to High Pass. And I will uh, decrease the radius up to 6 pixels about. Like that. And click on Monochrome. And I, the blend mode shall be Vivid Light. And... Yeah, I do like that. And now I will um, press Alt, Control, Shift and E. And there, so I have merged the layer. Um, I will choose the selection brush tool and start painting. Okay, now I will click on refine edges <coughs> and I increase to about 15 percent so <coughs> and ramp about eight percent or so and then I will paint the edges I will now uh, choose a new layer with mask and press apply. Let's see. I will now put a new background here, make that one black and put it below. This is a finished product. It doesn't work always that easy, like here yeah, things you can uh, definitely uh, define. But in general I think this is a very good method to, um, to get a nice background. We can also change the color to see if there's a lot of black left since it was black. Here's some black. But you can go back, you just click on the map, on the, on the mask and um, if you press control and you click on the thumbnail it will make a selection as you can see. If you then go to the, to the selection brush you can still refine the edges, further refine the edges. Alright, but I don't do that now. I think I'm good. Control D is deselect the selection. And that's about it. Okay, um, I want to show you one more example. I think it is quite easy here. There's a um, clear distinction between the background and and the person and the hair, basically. So, um, just do basically the same. I, I um, duplicate the layer by Ctrl and J. And I will apply a high pass filter. I go up to 6 pixel. 
over that and uh, click monochrome. I choose the vivid light and I will make um, like I will merge everything into one picture by by pressing Alt, Control, Shift and E that makes a new layer and um, now I will choose the, the selection brush tool and select everything here Okay, um, you can click on refine now and the border width you go up to 15% about and you always have to like figure out for your picture what works best and um, find out the best solution. I will increase my brush here and just start painting there where no red is applied around the hair. Okay, when you are done with painting, just click here on output then you choose new layer with mask and uh, press apply. So now it should be theoretically done. I will just put another background behind the woman and change the color. Let's go for magenta. Cyan is not magenta. And that's it. I think it's a very simple way to select the hair and uh, as I said in the beginning it doesn't work always especially when when the background has a similar color than the hair then it can be very um, difficult and you need to another, find another way but if you have a clear distinction between background and foreground then you can do something like that quite easy so I hope you liked the tutorial, if so then please give that video a like and um, consider to subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.